In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to shoot weapons out of players' hands in Horizon Worlds using scripting. Stick around. Hi guys, my name is Tony and welcome back to Jackal Dude Gaming here. I like to have fun in VR, but I love helping you have fun there too. Today we're coming back with another Horizon Worlds scripting tutorial. A while ago, you might have seen my five part series on how to make a VR shooting range in Horizon Worlds, which is aimed for beginners. If you haven't checked that out yet, I highly suggest you do so. I'll leave a card up here and it linked in the description below. And I've seen a lot of you have made projectile weapons using some of the script from that video, which is awesome, but that is only the beginning. So today I wanted to give your guns another mechanic. I like the idea of if you're shooting at your friends, if you miss them and hit their weapon and actually launches their weapon out of their hand. And honestly, it's actually only two more lines of code altered from the previous one to make this happen. So it's going to be pretty easy. But of course, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call me. Don't call me. <laughs> please don't hesitate to comment down in the comments below. As well, hit me up on Twitter. My DMs are always open and I'm going to start streaming on Twitch soon. Even though I might not always be streaming VR or Horizon content, you're more than welcome to ask me any questions over there at twitch.tv slash jackaldude, probably on Sundays. Anyways, if this video helps out, give it a thumbs up so more people can see it and think about subscribing and clicking that bell notification so you know when another tutorial comes out. Now, there's a lot of work to do today. Let's get started. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our VR shooting range. Remember, we made this whole shooting range in my series about a month ago on how to build your own VR shooting range in Horizon Worlds for beginners. If you haven't checked that out, I'd at least watch the first three of those up here. But if you haven't, that's okay. Today, we're just going to modify some of the guns we made in this world. So we're just going to add more mechanics to some of these guns so we can do more than just shoot these targets. So here's a fun thing you can do with only adding two more lines of code. Let's go to the script. We're gonna go press down and go into build mode. And our script for this gun is here. We named the gun itself is the fire script, but the script we have on the launcher gizmos remember this little arrow is the launcher gizmo is actually what shoots the projectile that has its own script that we named hit and when we open up the hit script we can see when projectile hits object hits interactive object so let's change this a little bit the idea of what we're going to do is when we shoot at people or ourselves and sometimes we might miss the person but sometimes we might hit their weapon I thought this was a good opportunity to maybe be able to disarm your opponent if you're making a PvP type game. So all we have to do is alter this part of the code real quick. Uh, when projectile hits interactive object and then it gives us the little object information, this is the only thing we really need. We don't even have to make a variable to then launch the weapon that person is holding out of their hands if we hit their weapon. So we're going to go over to the action tab. And we're gonna to scroll to the top under object. We're gonna do force release. And we're gonna throw force release right here towards the bottom, right before we send the poof event. Now, force release, what this code does is if an object is being held by a player, it just cancels the, the holding. So first we wanna make, to, if we want the gun to fly out of our opponent's hand, we have to make sure they let go of it first. We use force release for that. And what do we want to force release on? The object we hit with the projectile. So we're gonna take this little object pill and drop it right there. Great, now when we shoot a gun in someone else's hand, they will cease letting go of it. But we also wanna have a little pop to it, almost like the force of our projectile kinda of sent it into the air a little bit. Um, just either as comedic effect or making that player have to reach up or reach over or whatever. So what we wanna do is after we release the object force release the object from their hand we want to also like shove it push it with some force so we're going to go to the movement tab and we're going to find under physical motion push with mass we're going to grab push with mass and put that right under the force release remember to put this under the force release because we want them to let go of it first before we try pushing it with mass so again, what are we pushing? The object that we hit with the projectile. So we'll take that pill again and drop it here. 
And this, um, our coordinates, like how much do you want to push it by? This is X, Y, and Z. And this is mass. It's not necessarily a position. I mean, it is a position, but it's more of like how much of a position are we going to move it? So we essentially want to move it straight up because I think that's funny. So we'll turn this X to zero and Y is the direction that goes up and down. So let's add this by five. So when a projectile hits an interactable object, we're going to take that object and we'll do all the normal stuff. But if it is held by a player, we are going to force release it. We're going to make that object not be held by that player. And then we will launch, we will push that object into the air by five with mass. That's all you need. And now when these guns shoot each other while being held by someone, it should force them to launch up in the air. Let's go test it real quick. We're going to go into the world. We're going to grab both these guns. Yeah, they work fine, so we didn't mess up our script. But then if I shoot this gun in my left hand, blam! <laughs> we get the animation, and we force release it and launch it straight up in the air. Wonderful. Now, this is also, like, we can keep doing this, so you can do fun stuff like this. And just send it really high into the sky. <laughs> really make someone wait for the gun. Blam! Right on. Now, that is just one additional mechanic you can give your projectiles in your games and worlds, just to make your projectiles a little more interesting than constantly being able to shoot a stream of bullets by holding, uh, by pressing the trigger multiple times. In the next video, I actually really want to go over a reloading mechanic and a display mechanic. See, I'll show you with this gun. This is a sneak peek for the next video. We can shoot this gun a couple of times. We're tracking how much ammo is left. Oh, we're out. It stopped shooting. We can take a little magazine, pop it into the bottom. It disappears, and now we have ammo again, and we can shoot again. We will go over how to do this in the next video, so be sure to like this video if it helped you out, and subscribe and click the bell notification so you know when that video comes out. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.